Hello, welcome to Bobby Books and Blocks, and today I'll be showing you set seven what seven six one seven eight the daily bugle. This has three thousand seven hundred seventy two pieces, and every piece makes it very awesome. We're first gonna take a look at the twenty five figures that are included in the set. All of them are very awesome and a lot. And all of them have a lot of side printing and printing on them. Now we're going to take a look at the bugle itself. We're first going to take a look at the roof. The roof has a big daily bugle sign with a bugle instrument. And here you have the water tower. And here you have the radio tower. With um, her bursting off with fire. We're going to take a look at the fourth floor. And if you go on this side, you have more Spider-Man little buggies. And on the back, you have Venom and a big poster board. And right here, you have a little bird's neck with a furnace or a vent. And on this side, you have a fire escape area, which is really cool. I like the texture in that. And here, it has the post on this. And on the whole time set, all the four sides, the bottom floor, you can pop it off like that. And inside, you have a little office with somebody working and a big TV. And in here, you have another office with two awards in the back and a rock. And you have a computer and a keyboard and a lot of newspapers. And now we're gonna go on the third floor. The third floor has a real cool detail because like the window shattered because Green Goblin's little like hovercraft face on is like bursting through the window. And on the side, there's nothing much to it like the third floor with the buggy. But here you have a door because of the balcony and the back and, and when you put it together. And on the side you have more of the fire escape with one of the Spider-Man people, and Mysterio. And when you open it up, it's kind of a little bit harder to do. But when you open it up, because it's a lot more secure, you have an elevator, you have a copier, and a little shelf with a pizza box on top and a big camera. And here you have two packing boxes. And up here you have Spider. I'm going to assume this is Peter Parker's office. And here you have a death of picture of Spider-Man. And a little bulletin board with post-it notes on it. And a phone. Now we're going to take a look at the second story. And the second story has a nice balcony with Peter Parker on it. And here you have a digital billboard. And on the side, you have the fire escape area. And on the back, it's pretty plain, but you have a lot of that. And here you have more windows. And now we're going to take a look at the office area. The office area, if you look way back, there's a water jug and a coffee maker right here and the filing cabinet and a bunch of jackets with a lot of TV playing the news. And you have a lot of newspapers too. We're first going to take a look at the outside of the story of the Daily Bugle. Here you have Sandman bursting out of the road of sidewalk. And here you have someone, a bad guy jumping off the cliff of the sign. And here you have the Daily Bugle entrance. And right here, if you can open and close the door. And here you have little two bushes. Here you have Aunt May. And here you have a newspaper person right there and a newspaper stand. Here you have Carnage and a few other bad guys. And here you have two ordinary 
videos and here you have another one of the furnaces events and here you have two dumpsters here you have a street light or a door light and here is a spider web if you lift it up there's a little backpack in it a little like a backpack piece and on this side, you have a few boxes, a recycling can, and the wall. And if you do this, it'll come out. Now we're going to take a look inside. There's a big TV on the wall with um, newspapers. And at the main deck or the front deck, there's a lot of cool things like a, a microphone and a, a door entryway. And on the other side, and you have chairs for waiting, and a couple of newspaper behind the chair for waiting, and you have a vending machine to get a drink. And now we have the rented taxi. The rented taxi has the little sign that says taxi, a little antenna, the front lights, the front bumper. The back bumper, the tail lights, and the trunk. Overall, I think it's a neat set for $300 and really, really cool. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.